Welcome back to The Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. Today is finally the day we are going to renovate Chaz's farm from the Cottage Living Let's Play. I've made sure that we actually do have the gig coming up. I, I've played a few extra days. I didn't do anything. I just upgraded a couple of things around the house. But now we have an actual gig that is for the Rick's farm. It is definitely residential and not commercial because I think the last one we actually saw was a commercial one, like the arcade renovation was actually a commercial gig. So if we had done that, it would have been completely pointless anyway. So this is also a level renovation, which is fantastic. Uh, whether it's the ground floor or the second floor, I think either will be fine because both of them are pretty empty. So we're definitely going to take that. 9 a.m. Thursday. So that is actually today. That's that's actually super exciting. So Hazel's having a sleep. Hagrid is up here. And uh, I guess we're just going to fast forward time here until the morning because really, I think her needs are all good. She's a little hungry. It is nice as well. We don't have the simple living lot trade on so we can actually just cook whatever food we want. So let's go ahead. Let's have some pancakes, you know. Let's have something nice for breakfast. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually what happened in the last few days. I got I got my bills. My bills are $3,800. I'm not even sure why. Like, my lot taxes, based on the value of all objects on the lot and the lot's value. I mean, I guess we have expensive stuff, but is it that expensive? I have 18 photos. I've got an expensive camera. I didn't think my stuff was that valuable. Like, I mean, we have some decent stuff, but I guess maybe that's just... That's just how much it is. Um, our bills are expensive, I guess. <laughs> it, it, I guess it is what it is. So the other thing we're gonna do with this gig. Oh, my, what is it with my hair? <laughs> okay, let me just put that up. The other thing we're gonna do with this gig, so the, the budget actually says 6,800. We're gonna stick to the actual money that Chaz has. So if we go here to the Rick's farm right now, we're just gonna take note of exactly how much money they have. And that's what we're gonna spend. Oh, it's all covered in snow here now. This is so cool. We haven't actually even seen this in the other Let's Play yet because it only just started winter last episode. <laughs> cool. Anyway, so 10,613. So I've taken note of that amount and we will stick to that on the budget. Even though it says the budget is 6,800, we're going to spend a little bit more than that. But we're also going to take into account the gig payout, which is 800. So then that makes our total like budget and how much we get. Yeah, anyway, look, I'll work it out when we're doing it. <laughs> uh, well, let's take Hagrid for a little walk before. Well, let's give you a brush. Uh, take, take you for a walk before we go to work because we've got we to gotta take care of little Hagrid. All right, so we'll just go for a little jog before. That's kind of our like routine now. We do like the morning jog with Hagrid. Uh, <laughs> even though we kind of just go down the alleyway and then just around the block. We don't really go anywhere. I don't know, but it, it's good. It means the dog gets out, he enjoys it. It's all good. And then we'll have work in about an hour here, which I'm actually really excited for this. I'm really excited to finally do up the house because it's been rough in that Let's Play. You know, like we have a bit of money now. We can actually do something with it. All right, so let's go to work. Imagine if we're just like, nah, let's send her alone. We'll just let her do it. Oh, look at this. This looks so good. I'm not quite sure how the snow is perfectly landed on this glass roofed uh, greenhouse though. Like how is there so much snow build up when there's no like lip? Like I, I could imagine some on the top, but like here as well with nothing to stop it falling off. Also it's a greenhouse. So wouldn't it be a little bit warmer potentially and not and melt? Anyway, whatever. Why am I getting into that? Now let's go knock on the door. Oh, poor Lenny the llama. Oh, the chickens. Oh, can I steal the eggs? Oh my gosh, I can. Heck yeah. I can take that. Wait, can I milk your cow? Uh, I don't think I can milk the cow. What about shearing wool? I don't think, I don't think it lets me do that, but I could take the eggs. Okay, so I believe, wait, first of all, where are you guys? Hello? Oh, the China machine. I can inspect it. Oh, okay, there's Chaz. Hey man, uh, let's go. Wait, we've met before. I know we met in his Let's Play, but I guess it didn't count for her, but anyway, whatever. Anyway, hey Chaz, hey Trenton. Okay, I guess we're not saying hello. Wait, so I know Trenton, but I apparently don't know Chaz. When did that happen? I don't know. Anyway, cheerful introduction. Hey guys. Yep, I'm here. All right, let me see. I don't. I have no idea what Trenton's likes and dislikes are, but we did actually set some of Chaz's, so we should actually get some things that I chose. Suggest so bold home makeover ideas. Let's try that. We've only got three likes. Okay, well, we got gray and gardening from Trenton, which is actually fine. I can work with that pretty easily. And you like brown. All right. Well, I guess I could do that. All right, send clients away. All right, yeah, yeah, you guys leave. See ya. We'll chat more when you guys get back. No, go away. What the heck? Dude, go away. There we go. <laughs> we'll chat more when you're back. All right, let's go to the toilet. Now, what can I swipe? Can I take their patchy? That'd be pretty funny. Can I take their sprinklers? No. <laughs> what can I steal? Can I steal the bees? Nah. I can sell their produce? Really? I can come in here and just sell. Wait, would that go to their budget? 
I'm actually kind of cute. Wait, so if I go to build mode. Okay, first of all, ground floor. Okay, that's good. That's good because the ground, fro ground floor is pretty lame. So we're not doing the upstairs today, just the ground floor, uh, which actually means we could probably... Oh, actually, will it let me build something new? Does it let me build new stuff? Oh, it does. Okay, so I, I was gonna say, I could actually probably build some other stuff somewhere else if I wanted to. All right, so the budget is 6827. I am curious though, if I were to say, go here and say, sell these for eight bucks, what does that, d does that actually add to that budget or does it add to my money? Okay, so let's sell, let's check. Oh, I think it just gave me money. <laughs> no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay. Yeah, it did not add to that, but it just gave me money. That's so dumb. All right, let's not do that then. Um, right, right. Okay, well, let me let me take some photos. <laughs> okay, take the full photo. All right, so we're going to be doing the... <laughs> I forgot I left these here on the wall. We're going to be doing the downstairs, like, living room area, which I think makes sense, because this is, this is kind of just nothing, this room. And I guess probably the dining area. I'm just trying to figure out. So maybe we'll do dining area. Maybe I can go like one this way. The kitchen as well could use a really nice makeup. If we could get like a really good looking kitchen, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I might do one maybe this way we could get something. And then the living room. I mean, I don't know. That's five photos, but I don't know what I'm even going to actually do here. So let's have a look. You know what? I'm going to open up a spreadsheet because I'm going to need to actually track the money myself because, because the gig pays 800. Our actual budget starting in this is that. Okay, so according to my epic spreadsheet calculations i should be able to go 2900 over budget i mean it might not make them actually happy in game but that should be the actual amount that we can spend anyway let's just go ahead and get started and see what we can do with let's just you know go with the actual starting budget and then we'll go from there now the living room no you know what i'm gonna get the, the let's get the i want a dining area i have no idea if this is even gonna work because it is such a small space but i would love to have like this kind of dining table in here I don't know if we should, should we change the flooring in this place? Like we've got the wooden floorboards. Should we, I'm, I'm not really sure what else to do though, to be honest, so maybe not. Uh, let's just start off just doing something and then we'll we'll go from there, you know? Obviously I'm gonna have to move objects. I reckon, hmm, I wonder if it, should I line it up with the archway or the window? Cause obviously the window is off to the side here because that's, we have this like doorway entry arch kind of thing. So that's why it's sort of off to the side there. Ignore this mailbox is randomly there. There's a lot of weird things in this house and this lot. Uh, I guess it looks pretty good from here, you know, like, and then we could maybe just put like some sort of hutch or not hutch, hatch, hatch, no hutch, it is hutch. <laughs> Get a hatch in there. Why not? Because there's a few different ones. There's like this, uh, actual one from Cottage Living we could use. This larger one. I mean, I think the Cottage Living one's actually pretty good. It can't go right into the window, but if we could do it there, maybe. It seems, it does seem a little squishy though, doesn't it? That's kind of the point, but th I mean, this seems a little too squishy, you know? So maybe this could go... Now you might be wondering, we do have a dining table right here. I, that is actually something I want to keep because um, I want it. I guess maybe the table will just go over a little bit then. Because if we put it like here or even, no, I'd have to go there because we need, a, need room for the door to open. We really have a rug in here. I, I don't think that this is working in here. I think I should probably just get rid of this. Uh, I would like to have that, but I just don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to put that back in the middle. It's going to be in the middle of the room, not in line with the window, just because I don't think we can do that. Ooh, what about this paranormal rug? Because this actually fits this room like perfectly. They liked gray and brown. So <laughs> we can also change like the walls and stuff. It doesn't have to be what we've got. Oh, that too. Yeah. Wait, what does this have? Does it have like one? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is great. That's actually, oh, Batu. It's actually some pretty good, like great looking rugs in here. <laughs> Get it? They're great. No, but like could be useful for other stuff. Not particularly this house though. <laughs> Maybe do one of the cats and dogs ones like this sort of wickery kind of ones. I think I might need to change the floors. Like I think, oh, Batu. Yeah. They're a little too dark though, I think. <laughs> I think I would like some tiles or like stonework, probably stonework. Like uh, you could do something like that where it's like a, the similar sort of color tone, but obviously there are more modern kind of tile. Like maybe they replace the floor or something in there. I don't mind that. I don't think I want it in the kitchen though. Like I, I, I do kind of like the wooden floorboards. I think they actually kind of work. I might change the walls though. I think something like this. I know it's like my classic like gray, but I think it kind of works with the colored. We got the blue chairs and like that rug. I think that works quite nicely in there. <laughs> I know it's like my classic color choice, which is black and white, but like, I think it actually works in this case, okay? All right, well, let me do up the kitchen because I feel like we could definitely do something in here. Uh, we have these random postcards, which, you know, if that, that's what they want, they can keep it. I'll just put them down a little lower. Let's just choose some like separate pieces so we can, you know, sort of piece this together so it looks a little bit more interesting. 
so that they all have like a different sort of function. I might, I wonder if maybe swapping these two would be better. Like swap this one to here, the bigger one. So that would actually have to just slide in to meet that one. We just have to manually adjust it. Yeah, so we could do that. Not not in green, but just like a, we could do that sort of layout. Uh, the stove is kind of, it is, maybe the stove should go here and the sink over here. It's just kind of weird that it, I don't, it's, it's I don't know. I feel like it, it's not really lining up underneath the window and I think it looks kind of, hello? Uh, hello? Where did my sink go? Oh, hello? <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's over here. How did it get over there? <laughs> okay. Anyway, put that here. The weird thing about this sink, uh, which it looks fine when you're looking at it like this, but when you put the walls down, I don't know why they made it like this, where it like overlaps and goes under the wall. Like, because it's not technically a counter, it's like an actual bathroom sink. So I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. Now this dishwasher, I do like it because it means we have to do less dishes, but I'm wondering, should it be a different color? I don't know about that, especially now next to that. Maybe it should go here and then this should go here. Although having that right next to that door is probably not a good idea. Okay, never mind. Let's, let's just put it back. Uh, and yeah, I don't know about that. It was originally to sort of go with that color, but even the blue to me kind of looks better, but it, it, that's too blue. So I wonder if we just go gray. I just kind of don't like it next to the sink. It kind of ruins it, you know? But then putting it over there is like not any better. What about we do this? We move this to here. We somehow, this isn't gonna work, is it? <laughs> no, I just wanted to just go in the middle nicely, but it's not gonna work with these pieces, is it? All right, forget that. Um, all right, well, I'll leave that. So these, if these are the blue, do I want it to be the matching blue? Like, is that something I want to do? Get this guy over here as well, the bigger one. There's a very small space underneath it though, doesn't it? A cottage living, is there something I could put on? I could put some like jars and stuff actually. Oh, that jar's even too big to fit under this thing. Is that I just scale it down? I just kind of want stuff sitting on the counter because otherwise it just kind of looks, I don't know, that, that space is so small, it just seems kind of weird. I mean, I guess I could just, I could make it not have that there and have a bigger space. <laughs> I don't know, listen. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so then, now this, the, originally the plan was to actually have four chairs here. So it's like a little breakfast table. And it, it might seem weird with the, the dining room right there, but that was kind of the plan. But even though that was a plan, I think that is too many chairs now. Like, I, even I think that's maybe a little much. Maybe instead of this being a dining room, which I do want it to be, but I think, or, or we get rid of this, this area. Hang on. We get rid of these, right? Move this plate over here, get rid of this table. And just, this is now purely dining room. We could actually put that hatch over here. Ha Why are we calling it a hatch? A hutch. Because then this could go here in the kitchen area. And actually, I might even be able to maybe move the fridge to this spot. I think maybe over here is a bit better. And then that fits in that area better. Oh, actually, maybe it was kind of good there. Yeah, actually, no, I'll put the fridge back. I like the fridge over there. Should we go full on blue fridge? It's kind of fun. And then this. Oh, does this not have a matching like blue? No, I mean, it's okay. You can just go white. That's fine. The bin can stay probably over here somewhere. That's fine. Get this plant here, maybe. Move that over a little bit. I mean, I think the kitchen's already looking a lot better. I think this looks great. What about hanging decorations? Like pots and pans. Object is currently locked. View on... Oh, because this is an unlockable right. Okay, fair enough. That's dumb. <laughs> this one's way too big. I think like this. Seems like it fits the aesthetic. Although it seems like it's very low. Like, if you look at where that pot is hanging, I think a sim would hit that. Like, I don't think they can walk under this. Like, it would have to be... I'd have to place it over, like, a counter. It would have to go, like, over that and block the window, which I don't... Does that look dumb? Maybe. I have a fan. Oh, the fan is also really low. It looks like you'd hit your head on that. Okay, let's get rid of that. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go with that for now. I kind of like that, that idea anyway. Where are we at? We've not really sp actually spent that much money yet. We've not really done much. Now over here, this is always supposed to be like a boot room and a bathroom. So I'm gonna move this woodworking table because I, I do want to keep this. I'm not actually sure where it's gonna go right now. So for now, I'm just gonna put it out the back, maybe around the side here. And in here, maybe just three counters. Now, I would like to put a sink in here, though. I'm just worried that they'll come in here and wash up dishes instead. Actually, you know, speaking of, why don't we just turn this into, like, the the sort of washing up room. Have, like, the dishwasher in here. Because then it keeps the kitchen looking cleaner. Yeah, why not? I like that. Oh, actually, if this is a boot room, maybe we should have, like, a shoe rack. We'll have, like, these here. Maybe, like, coat and hat or something above it. That makes sense to me. And if I use this cabinet, it looks like it's closed. But we're going to have, like closed looking cabinets there so you know like storage i mean it could be we could even do like a little laundry here but i don't i don't want to add laundry to this lot because we already have so much to do every single day uh so i'm not gonna add laundry but that could be a nice little laundry spot so this in here <laughs> this photo of trenton uh this in here i want this to be a bathroom let's go ahead and do that i guess if we well maybe we should, should i have some windows we don't have any windows here probably should hang on let's grab some of these but i want the smaller one this one yeah grab like this so in this room, we can have a window easily there. It's kind of low, but 
you know, it fits under the counter. So that's all it fits, you know, underneath the cabinet. And the bathroom, I don't know if I want it here because I don't think I want it on the front of the house. Oh, I mean, that's fine, actually. We could do that. And we can do another one. Sure, so at least we've got a couple of little windows there. All right, so this is our little bathroom. And this is going to be, I guess, a bathroom that might be more used if you were like coming in from outside and you're quite dirty. I mean, we do actually have an outhouse like right here, but so the shower in here. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I didn't really consider. It might actually have to go over here where the sink is just because of the wall placement and uh, the window placement and all that. Uh, and then the door is there, isn't it? Okay, so we'll flip these around. So the toilet will be like here. And the door is kind of strange because now you sort of come in and toward the shower. So I might actually just move the door here to the middle because that makes more sense. Then we do actually have spare space here, which could be bathroom decoration, such as like this thing or this thing. I always get like some more shampoo kind of stuff in here. We got a little, there's like a little soap thing built into this, but you know what? Let's get a little shampoo holder like that. Look at that. Well, those handles are so big. You know, I've never really looked closely at this, but those shower tabs are huge. Like if you consider the size of these uh, shampoo bottles and then how big that is. Good Lord. Uh, okay, so here, I quite like this one actually. Just like that. You know, just a little decoration to add into the bathroom there. Oh, <laughs> that photo. We'll keep the photo. So this was a photo that Trenton took. He took a selfie with one of the oversized crops. Um, a bit random to have it there. Maybe we'll move it to the kitchen. Do we have a, we don't have a shelf, do we? Oh, could it go over here? Oh yes, we can go in here. <laughs> this is looking so much better. Like we actually have stuff now. <laughs> like there's actually stuff, which I'm pretty stoked about. Now this dining room. Okay, I think I have to change this wall. I think I changed my mind. It just needs like some color. Oh, that's so cool. That's fun. <laughs> I really like that paranormal wallpaper. I don't know if it really goes with this house, but I, it's kind of fun. I kind of wish the skirting was uh, darker though. Although I guess it goes with the other rooms. You know what? I'm going to roll with that. I'm going to get rid of this light as well. I think we need different lights. Like I feel like we should have cottage living light. Now I've, I put the light in the middle of the room rather than the table. Because to me, that just makes more sense anyway. I guess on this wall, it really should just be like a bookcase, right? Well, how much is this? Two, 300 bucks? Oh, that's fine. So if we get that one, and then also, isn't there one, a single tile version of that? Yeah, it's not quite the same, but does it have the same color? Oh, are you kidding? These don't have the same color? Like I know they're from different packs, so I was hoping they matched. <laughs> okay, well, how much is that one? That one's, oh, that's 300 by itself. Maybe this um, Snowy Escape one. Because Chaz is from uh, Mount Komorebi. You know, that's where he grew up. So maybe he likes the idea of tying that in. Does this work if I slide it over like that? You know, it's all kind of moved around a bit. I just didn't want the rug underneath the... Uh, bookcase although I guess it doesn't matter because it's not a solid bookcase so it's just kind of annoying isn't it because like, I really want the table to line up with this door okay so that's what I'm trying to do because but then it I don't know this this room is all all sorts of scuffed so <laughs> I don't know maybe like a little wall light there just for funsies um do we want like curtains and stuff I, I, I feel like that does add a lot like it adds a lot of little detail if you just get some extra curtains. That's also quite nice, this little thing. Now, I don't know if an interior decorator would particularly like decorating the room like this, but I feel like it suits the house. <laughs> like, I don't know, like this whole style is, is a bit, well, let's just say it's not very stylish, but I think it suits this house, you know? I feel like we need like a mirror here. No, just this one, the darker frame. Yeah, I don't know, I just felt like there should be something there. It seemed like something was missing. Uh, definitely need like a little decoration for the table. Ooh, actually this might fit. Oh, that's a little bit, isn't it? it might fit in the corner or something. And let me get some more of those little shoe rack. So you can like sort of leave your shoes there. That makes sense. And you know what? I'm going to move this umbrella stand actually. I don't know why I didn't put it in this. Like we had this obviously so I assume it's going to have umbrellas, but I don't know why it's not in this little entrance foyer that we have. Like it seems to make way more sense because that's like all undercover too. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't use that, but yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, table decorations is actually what I'm looking for here. Maybe like a fruit bowl, to be honest, would probably be nice. Oh, Batu. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, yes, this Batu does fit. Um, Book of Silhouettes. That's also kind of, it's a nice little, little item. It's expensive, but you know, it is what it is. Get some like lemons or something in here. Maybe not lemons, but cha oops, change this maybe to lemons and limes. How about that? That's nice. I'm wondering if we should change the wall in the kitchen or do we keep the yellow? Actually, I kind of like the yellow. You know, I, I think that works. The dining room is very dark now uh, because... Well, the lighting makes it darker. Obviously the walls are dark and the, all the wood is dark. The curtain blocks a lot of light. But you know what? I'm actually kind of really liking it. <laughs> I'm really liking it. Ooh, pots. I like these. I like just like clutter, you know? I think, I, I think it works here. We'll put it right next to the stove. What was I getting? Oh yeah, I need the fruit bowl. Where's that? Oh, I need a toilet paper roll too, don't I? I, haven't, I we haven't finished the bathroom. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do, okay? There's a lot. We'll get a towel here for hands and 
Chow towels can just be in that thing. Whatevs. <laughs> Whatevs. Uh, and then we want, you know, a little bucket of supply. Actually, this is like kitchen stuff, isn't it? Oh, no, this is laundry. Maybe a little bucket of supplies like underneath here. I like that. And then we can get a little soap. Just move objects it up here. Nice little detail. Ooh, yes, this is perfect. Like a, I don't know. Can I actually, there we go. Yeah, like this. A broom and like a dustpan. I think that's like perfect for this little laundry area. This is, it's expensive. It's not cheap. It's actually, this, I think it's the same brightness as that spotlight, but I think it suits the house a lot more. At least it's in this bathroom, you know, it's hanging light bulb. I like, good. Uh, I might do different lighting in here as well. Maybe just the light bulb too. Yeah, I like it. The kitchen, I guess I might, I I'm going to keep these spotlights because I do like my houses to actually be bright. Some of the other lighting isn't as good, but I think, oh, this is looking so much better than before. <laughs> this is so much better. Okay, we've got still about 700 in the budget for the living room, but we do technically have like 3000 over budget too that we can also use. So we can, we don't have to worry too much. Now the living room, this wallpaper, I'm sorry, has got to go. It is rough, so rough. I'm kind of wondering what we do. So, cause this is obviously supposed to be like an old cottage kind of style of home, but we have the hallway in the middle. I could imagine at some point these rooms, this would have been like two separate rooms. And I'm wondering if we actually go back to that. Cause it's kind of like, it's just very long. And I'm not sure that I fully appreciate the length of the room. Like, I think I might prefer it like this, have this as a living room, this as the home office, you know? What do we reckon? You guys can let me know in the comments, but I was, I was thinking we move like the home office into here. Oh, and so we've got a couple of frogs, which I'm not actually sure what we're doing with it. Oh my God, they can go on top of this. but not putting them up there. I'm not sure where to put them. Oh, maybe they can go in the greenhouse. That'd be kind of cool. I wish you get like a little table in the greenhouse somewhere. Let me go back to daytime real quick. Hey, what happened to my window? Yeah, if we get like a table and put them in the greenhouse, that'd be cool. <gasps> oh, can they go on this, please? Oh, yes, this is cool. Okay, I like this. This is going in the greenhouse for sure. I'm not, we'll, we'll have to decorate the greenhouse more, but I think this is a nice little addition to it. <laughs> Having the frogs in there. Cool, all right. And then this is our storage chest, which just has a bunch of random junk in it. So I'm not actually sure whether we should put this. Maybe, I think, it, well, we need to do, I, we need to make like a workshop or something, I think for the woodworking table. So I might just put this with that for now. And then maybe we'll have to build another like shed or something somewhere else um, for that. Now the home office could maybe use this. No, I don't like that wallpaper. What about this one? I'm just not into it. <laughs> we could do like this, cause that's gray. I just don't like how the wood paneling like gets cut into massively by the window. But I mean, maybe that's fine. And then maybe we'll do brown. Oh my gosh, you know what? That lagged so much. I'm going to hit save because that was super laggy. <laughs> Ooh, these are good. We should get one of these. I'm not sure where to put it. Maybe back here or the hallway definitely needs more decoration. Well, I'll put it in the living room for now. We'll sort that out. We're at minus $100. We can go to minus 2,986. Though I have a feeling, assuming we do a good job and they actually pay me, which they might not, but they can often pay like bonuses. So I guess we shouldn't go too far over this budget because I, what we'll do once we go into the cottage living let's play is minus all this money from their actual household funds. So I don't want to go too far over budget that we end up with negative money in the other let's play, but it, it's a possibility. That's quite nice. You can like sit here and look out the window. I might even just grab this same, um, curtain so it sort of matches the other room so that can be like a little home office which i quite like you know i guess we should probably get let's get two desks because there's two of them there's trenton and Chaz, and they can both work in here maybe side by side maybe we should get some actual office chairs oh back to yeah uh no i'm thinking something like oh there's a, wait how much are they oh no these are locked anyway uh either this one or just like a your standard home office kind of cheapo chair like this kind of thing or even this one but no, that, well, that is so like angular and flat. That does not look like that'd be comfortable at all. Like at least this one, you can see it's got a curve on the base, like the where you sit and the back. But this is just like flat. <laughs> that looks so uncomfortable. Maybe just these. I'm not gonna buy another computer yet because that's gonna be a lot of money and we don't really have that. Uh, but I will maybe get some like files and stuff, you know, like, because they're obviously, they, so they run their own farm, you know, and all that. They got to, they get all this bookkeeping to do. So maybe they have like a lot of, Oh, that's locked. They have a lot of things they got to go through. Some mail as well to sort. There's boxes of paperwork I'll put down here on the floor. Oh, wait, that's locked? You can't buy this unless you get to level seven of the detective career. This is an unlockable. It's like a dirty box with grease stains. And so is this. Really? I just, it's a, it's a box of paper. Why are they unlockable? And this, man, these are all the good items. That's so lame. Ha ha, Batu. All right, well, we'll forget about those items then. 
It's a shame. Uh, magazines, do these make sense? Probably not, they're like style magazines. Do they have farming magazines? Ooh, they do have this, a little cushions and blankets box. I love that, that's really good. Okay, we are actually approaching even our excess budget limit that we set. So we gotta be careful here. I wanna decorate this office a lot more, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that today. I'm gonna get rid of that light and I will get one of these as well. It's good. All right, living room. I think I wanna change these walls as well. I don't, just, I don't, this wall, this wall is too much. We don't even look at it that often, but it, even even now when we're looking at it, it's too much. Maybe like this. It is a very sort of subtle um, white kind of color, <laughs> which is, as you know, one of my faves. Um, but I think it's a little, because I guess the idea is we're also kind of renovating this like it would be a contemporary renovation, you know? Like we're doing it today, not 50 years ago. <laughs> so we should make it look a little bit style. Well, no. I don't know. I'm still going very much, obviously, for the, the cottagey aesthetic here. Um, so let's have a look. I feel like there should be windows on this side of the house. I don't know why there isn't. Like, I think there should be a window here. Or maybe there should be one here somewhere too. Let's have a look. Hang on. On the outside, that looks like it should be... Yeah, that actually looks like... I think it's the same spot. We don't have them upstairs either. I'm not sure what the reason for that is. I don't know if it's just because I didn't have money originally when I built this. That might be the reason. But for now, I'm going to add a couple more windows because it seems like there's not a lot going on down here. <laughs> like there doesn't seem like there's a lot of windows. Um, okay, so that's here. Obviously, we don't really have money for a TV or more deck. I want to put a lot more in here, but I think we've made huge progress over here. I think this looks great. I'm like super happy with this. I think we need to do many more renovations here, really. Hazel has to come back. Let's go to live mode. I think this is... Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Hang on. Let me, <laughs> let me at least position this properly because this is kind of just blocking the window. Uh, this item is kind of strange now because it doesn't really... I don't really have a wall to put it on because it's going to block that. It's going to... It could go in this corner. Uh, it could go in this corner, actually. Although not as well as this one. Because that one fits, like, perfectly under the light. How come it doesn't do that over here? Oh, I put the lights at different distances. Okay, so if I put the light there, then it fits, like, perfectly under this light. It just means we have to decorate and put more stuff over there. Because at the moment... At the moment, it looks kind of weird because it's just by itself. But I think if we decorated th this area a bit more, it would make a bit more sense. Might even do, like, a different color on that, maybe. It's a bit dull, this room, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe the wall does need to be different. <laughs> it's just, it's not really any, like, it's just very, very bland. I don't know. No, I'm going to leave it. Okay. So we're over budget. Um, hang on. It says 15,000 there, which I'm kind of confused by that thousand. Hang on. If I delete that and put it back. Okay. My negative 1700. So we could go up to like 3000 ish over budget and still be within that $10,000. Though I've, we've never submitted a, a renovation in Dream Home Decorator over budget before. So I don't know what happens in that case, but we're going to find out. All right, as always, I'll try and get the same angles because it obviously makes comparing before and after a lot easier. So I had one around about here somewhere. Well, this looks so much better. We had one in the kitchen from about this angle. I have to go in a little bit more because we have this hutch, hatch, hutch <laughs> in the way. So about... Because I think the photo was kind of more from over here, but I have to go about here now. That's all right. About there. And then we had one, I think, from this angle. Yeah. Oh, look at that dining room now. That's so much better. And then the... Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on. I gotta... I gotta... Hang on. <laughs> I forgot to put that back. Hold up. Put that back in the corner. There we go. That's better. Okay. I gotta finish taking the after photos. So I took from this angle, which... Now, it may seem like a downgrade that your room is technically smaller, but I think it suits the house better. And the other photo was actually taken from about here, uh, but I'm going to change it so it's going to be taken from in this like room because this makes more sense because we got a whole new room. Well, that window is so much higher than this window. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. We might have to change that. But anyway, this will be taken from here instead. All right, that should be all five photos. Now, before the brothers come back, <laughs> aubergine, what can we see? We could take some of the eggs. I mean, they won't miss them, will they? Go collect the eggs. Oh, that's right. We locked the gate. Oh, also the gate's glitched out. Fantastic. I love how that happens. Although, yes, we locked the gate. However, we are technically doing a level renovation. I could just remove it. No, I won't do that. All right, fine. They've thwarted me this time. I don't think I can actually steal. Like, I don't want to steal anything I just place, you know? Oh my gosh, this is frozen. This is so cool. Can I walk on it? I feel like I should be able to walk over it. Oh my gosh, the stupid Roomba. Even that's out here still. What are you doing? Is it? Don't tell me it's going to go through this gate, is it? Oh, jeez. All right, anyway. Um, I don't think... Well, I guess we're not going to steal anything today. We'll just leave it there. Let's call them back. Call clients a lot. Wait, let me just check it. I did everything, right? Yeah, cool. Let me just save. All righty. So before and after... Whoa, that looks so different. I'm I'm really happy with this because we're going to get to play with this renovation. You know, this, is a re this is really a renovation for me and for you guys. 
Uh, whether <laughs> Chaz and, and uh, Trenton actually like it based on their likes, I don't know. Because, uh, hey guys, because uh, I didn't really, and also I spent a little extra money too. So I don't know if they're going to particularly like it, but we'll see. That's sure. Okay. And notice they also walk through these debug fences, but that's fine. All right, guys, you ready? You ready for this? I mean, this is, this is a big change. This is a big change. Renovation is what she says. And then they all go in. Do you want to cover your eyes, please? Please work. That'd be ideal. No, 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 don't laugh at it. Okay, three, two, cover eyes. Oh, come on. Really? We didn't, okay, this, this even sucks even more. We didn't even get to talk to them. We're going to stay on the lot though. Okay, so money earned, they actually paid me $160 extra. So I'm going to note that down because we need to subtract all the actual money that they paid me and, and from the budget. So I'll take note of how much we spent and also, you know, this. And then in the Cottage Living Let's Play, I'll do the deductions. Well, I'm going to stay on lot. Um, also, I'm going to do, oh, let's do the reactions. All right, here it is. Here's before. Very empty. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. That's amazing. Okay, here's before. Yeah, it's all right. Whoa, damn. I'm trying to remember which order all these photos went in. Oh no, that's no good. Whoa! The uh, living kitchen area looking good, completely different. Oh no, that's so empty. Whoa, okay, hang on, you made the room smaller? How strange. Was that all five? I, I don't know, I don't know what I just reacted to, but yeah, cool. Okie dokie, now that we're here, let's, uh, you know, fraternize. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Uh, let me ask about your taste. Do you have a taste in music? I mean, they seem to like the renovation. They also did actually pay me a good amount. Uh, they said, well, that went nicely. The client seems to really like the new layout. The keen eye for detail seems to really pay off both in Somalians and reputation. So, I mean, it seems like it went well. Hey, Chaz. Nice farm you got here. Trenton, I'd also like to get to know you too. Chaz likes blues and classical music. There you go. Now, as you guys are pointing out, Chaz actually... Okay, this is like the worst view. What is going on here? Uh, Chaz actually dislikes mischief. Where that is like Hazel's main thing is being mischievous. Also, you know you're talking to a wall, right? Um, that's fine. You discovered a walleye. Great. Good job, man. <laughs> Discuss interest. You know, I want to become friends with both you guys. The real question is, which big wallet is Hazel going to marry? Welcome to the brand new game of which big wallet will Hazel marry? Will it be Trenton? Uh, I guess it might be because Chaz is walking away. Will it be... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you facing the wall? He's talking to the umbrellas, and uh, I don't know that he will be the one. Will it be Chaz, who is gone into the greenhouse and he's talking to his frogs? Uh, looks like that it may just be Hazel by herself, so. <laughs> I guess that ends this episode of Which Big Wallet Will Hazel Marry? Cool. Uh, are you seriously just in here talking to your frogs? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I can attempt to swipe his frogs? Dang! That's brutal. All right, well, let's go home. I mean, we spoke to these guys a little bit. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they liked the renovation enough that they will be a repeat customer so we can come back again. Guide client? No, 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 just go home. <laughs> just go home, it's fine. Yeah, just run halfway across the world, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that we'll get them as a gig again and we can keep renovating. And, each, and hopefully next time, first of all, the reveal actually works next time because that'd be good because then we could do the reveal, get to know them better, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then over time with all the renovations, they start, you know, having a little thing. Oh, also, I don't mean to be that guy, but I actually don't have enough money to pay my bills. Uh, <laughs> that gig, they did not pay me enough for that gig. Um, my, my bills are $3,800. Okay, well, what we're gonna have to do is next episode, Rick's Farm Level Edition. <gasps> they want more work. That's really good, but it doesn't pay anything. I was going to say next episode. Oh my gosh. Next episode, we might have to do this. Add a level to this house. The Big Wall Eco House. Oh, actually, that's kind of hard. That's the um, the shipping container house. But they're paying 25 grand. So we might have to do that. next. Well, actually, next time, that will probably be different because we'll play Cottage Living for the next video. So then the time will progress again. Anyway, like we'll... Um, Next time we come back to Dream Home Decorator, we'll probably do a more high paying gig. But for now, let's end off this episode by, you know, getting our needs all sorted out. Let's go have some beautiful mud carp. That, hmm, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't sound as nice as I thought it would. 
They're saying beautiful mud carp. Mm -mm. Hey Hagrid. See, at least this robot stays in the house. I guess it can't get down the stairs, so that's that's a good thing. <laughs> does Hagrid have enough food? Let me check. Hey, he cooking level eight, very nice. Uh, yes, he does. Fantastic. Let's have my carp. Hagrid's chilling. We've got a good relationship together. He's sleeping on the couch. Very nice. Let's go down and uh, take a shower. You know what? I should probably just quickly check. Okay, my door is locked because I feel like if a repo person comes, um, they might just take something out of the alleyway, which is fine. <laughs> because I don't want them taking stuff from my house. I, I don't have any money to pay my bills. So it's a little rough. Anyway, let's go take a shower real quick. I suppose I probably need to do the laundry, don't I? I just had to wash the machine after the shower. There we go. Uh, that's all good. We'll start the laundry. And I guess that'll do. So that is going to do us for this episode of Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. Hope you enjoyed it. I really loved making it over our other Let's Play house uh, in this part. I think it's, that's a really fun kind of crossover thing that we can do. And once Hazel, you know, does a few more renovations and the Chaz Rick's farm is looking better, hopefully some romance can kindle. And then we can find out who the big wallet will be that Hazel will marry. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but um, will it be Trenton or will it be Chaz? going to leave it up to the comments to decide because I figure, I mean, I've seen, there's been some noise. There's been some noise in the comments for Hazel to get with Trenton rather than Chaz. But maybe it will be a thruple. I don't know. Anything can happen here on the Which Big Wallet Will It Be game show. I don't know. Anyway, thanks so much, you guys. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome day.